Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at all the different ways that you can switch between windows in the same app. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So a commonly asked question, particularly by users that have switched from Windows to Mac, is how can you switch between Windows not of different apps but in the same app. Like you have several documents open in Pages or several browser windows open in Safari. So the first way I'm going to show you is the one familiar to longtime Mac users. If you've been using Macs for a long time like me then you may work this way naturally. If you're new to Macs this may seem like a very strange way to work. And that is to simply have different windows open like this on a regular desktop not in full screen mode or anything like that and have them overlapping each other like this. And you can see how easy it is to switch between windows. Just find the window you want to switch to and click on it. And you can easily switch between two windows by clicking on that window. You kind of arrange things like a true desktop. Like these are pieces of paper on a desk and you simply click one to bring it to the front. It's not for everybody but certainly is the simplest way to switch between windows in the same app. Now what about if you've minimized a window. I don't like using minimized windows but I know some users that do. If you minimize a window like this then it simply works by allowing you to click on the windows that are not minimized. And anyone that is you can go into the dock and click it right there. Now what happens if the windows are arranged in such a way that you can't see all of them. So now there's no way for me to click on that window to bring it up. Well you can access any window being used by the app by going to the Window menu. It's always going to add a list of all of the open windows here at the bottom. So you can select the one that you want. So I can easily bring that one to the front by selecting it there. And it works with the minimized windows as well. If I minimize this window here I go to Window you can see here I have a check mark next to the window that is the current frontmost window. I've got other windows listed without a check mark. And I have this diamond next to any window that is minimized. And I can select it and it will bring it up. Now you can also find all your windows in the File menu under Open Recent. And here you can see all of the windows that I currently have open but also other documents that I recently had open. It doesn't distinguish between currently open documents and recently open documents. They're all there. So if I want to go back to this one, this one is minimized. But if I select it it will unminimize it. I can also use it to get to a currently open window. And I can use it to get to a document that I've recently had open but don't currently have open. Now there's also a keyboard shortcut that allows you to go through the different windows. You're probably familiar with Command Tab which allows you to switch between apps. But Command and then the key above Tab. It's a little back tick with a tilde on top on US keyboards. That one allows you to go between the currently open windows. Now it doesn't handle minimized windows. So if I minimize this window here it just takes me between the two currently open windows. Not anything that's minimized. As I said before I don't like to minimize windows. I actually in practice never do that. But I know a lot of people do. Still in this situation you don't really need to. I can just use Command and Backtick to switch between windows and whatever window I'm not using is going to move towards the back. If I find a window is getting in the way it's usually because I'm not using it really right now. I mean if I'm using it it's not getting in the way. So I'll just close it and then open it again like that. There's really no problem with doing this. A lot of people like to keep windows open because they think well I may need this later on. Let me keep it open. I'll minimize it. But instead of minimizing it why not just close it and then open it again any normal way you would or using Recents. Now another tool you can use is Mission Control which is what we usually think of when dealing with multiple desktops. But even if you just have one desktop like this you can use Mission Control. I'm going to use Control and Up Arrow to bring it up. And it will show you all of your open windows. And then you could select the one that you want. It works with all of your apps. So let's say I have several apps open. It will work with all of your visible windows. So I'm going to use Mission Control here, Control Up Arrow. And you can see here I've got my Pages windows and two Numbers windows and a window from another app here. So I can select whatever window I want to jump to. But keep in mind it only works with apps that are visible. So if I say go to Numbers and use Command H to hide it and then I do Mission Control. I won't see the Numbers windows here. In addition to a keyboard shortcut there are other ways to access Mission Control. For instance on the trackpad you can bring up Mission Control under More Gestures here. I've got it set to Swipe Up with three fingers. So I can easily get to Mission Control with a gesture. 
A similar thing is to use App Expose which the keyboard shortcut by default is Control Down Arrow. and This will bring up just the windows in the current app and you can click to select which one you want. In addition it shows you recent documents down here below. So if you've just closed the window you can easily get to it here. This is useful because unlike Mission Control you can use the keyboard to select a window. I'll use say Up Arrow to go up and then Right Arrow to go right. Select this window with Return and it brings it to the front. In System Preferences there's also a gesture you can enable for App Expose. So swipe down with three fingers if I wanted to enable that. Now there is kind of an ultimate way to access any window in an app and that's to use the dock. A lot of people don't think to look in the dock down here but if you click and hold an icon in the dock you'll get a list of the open windows. Notice here that I've got recent documents and they show as documents with the icon. But these three show as windows because they're currently open windows. and I can switch to any one that I want. Now you don't have to click and hold here. You can Control click and this menu will come up instantly. You could also right click with the mouse or two finger click on a trackpad. And then if something is minimized, let's say let's minimize this window here, I can still use it and notice how it gives me that little dime in there showing this is minimized. This is the current window and this is another open window. So I can unminimize like that and bring it back. Now today a lot of us like to work with Windows full screen. Remember Windows are full screen, not apps. So if I were to make this full screen here, I'll do that by simply clicking the green button, this one window is now full screen. If I bring up Mission Control with Control Up Arrow you can see I've got my desktop and this one window full screen. The regular desktop still has the other two open windows. Those aren't full screen. But let's make them full screen. I'll make this one full screen and I'll go back here and make this one full screen. Now you can see with Mission Control it shows me three full screen windows. All of them from Pages. and I can switch between any one of them by simply clicking on it or using the Mission Control shortcuts Control Left and Control Right arrows. So I can go between all of these full screen windows using Control Left and Control Right. It still works if I use some of those other techniques. So if I use Window and then select that you can see how it jumps right to that window. But Command and Back Tick does not work with full screen windows like this. But the dock does. I can easily select one and it will jump to it. On the other hand App Expose doesn't. It doesn't do anything if you're in full screen mode like that. And in System Preferences there's also a gesture for doing that. You can use this right here. Swipe between full screen apps. Swipe left or right with three fingers to make it easy to get between those windows. So there's another way besides having individual windows on a desktop or full screen windows each in its own space. That is to use tabs. So tabs are something you may be very familiar with in browsers. But you can use tabs in other apps as well. So for instance in here in Pages I can go to Window and I can say Merge All Windows. And now I've got one window and that has multiple tabs in it. And I can easily switch between these by simply clicking on these here. There are also keyboard shortcuts. If I look here I can go to the Next Tab with Control Tab and Previous Tab with Shift Control Tab. So Control Tab takes me between all of these tabs up here. Other methods work as well. With the Window menu I can jump to a tab that way. If I were to go to Open Recent and do that it would jump to the correct tab there as well. This also works great in conjunction with Full Screen. I can take this Window Full Screen and notice how I've got these three tabs here in a Full Screen window. It's a nice way to work. If you go into System Preferences and then to General you'll see here Prefer Tabs and then it's set to In Full Screen by default I believe. But you could say Always so that every time you open up a new document in Pages it just adds a new tab to the current window. One big disadvantage to tabs though is being able to see two things at the same time. So if you want to refer to one document while working on the other of course you can't do that in Tabs. You can still have multiple documents open in one window and then take another window here. I'll Control click on it and say Move Tab to New Window and I could have this one document in one window and these two documents as tabs in this window. So I hope this gives you some ideas of better ways to work with multiple documents or windows in the same app. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the Subscribe button so you don't miss out.